Hey everyone, this is Steve from the PhoneGap team uh, and in this screencast I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, the PhoneGap Facebook plugin uh, with uh, on Android with PhoneGap uh, 181. Um, these same steps should work for PhoneGap 1.5 and up um, but who knows uh, if things will change for future releases of PhoneGap Cordova. Um, so getting started, uh, hopefully you've already been able to make an app, but I'll quickly run through that as well. Just a quick Hello World app for Android. Uh, you're also going to want to uh, go ahead and clone uh, this repository, github.com slash davejohnson slash phonegap dash plugin dash facebook dash connect. Uh, if you don't know how to use GitHub, you should Google it. Um, it's not too difficult to get started. Uh, so have this cloned. Also go to PhoneGap.com and download uh, the latest version. Uh, for me it was 181, that's why this video is using 181. Uh, moving on. Uh, there's a readme in here that you're, we're going to be following. So the first step is to create a basic Cordova application. Um, you can actually go see the Getting Started Guide by going to docs.phonegap.com, clicking Getting Started Guides, and then Getting Started with Android. So I'm going to follow these steps real quick. Uh, file new project we're going to select Android project click next uh, give it a name I'm going to name it FB droid click next select the target you want to build for uh, you gotta give it a package name this is important you're going to need this later on com dot I'm going to name it com dot Facebook dot phone gap. Uh, give it a minimum SDK. Uh, for this plugin to work well, you're going to need to set it to 8. I was running into, into some errors when I was doing it uh, at a higher SDK for a minimum SDK. Um, the code's actually going to have to get refactored a bit so it can handle, handle higher minimum SDKs. But for now, set it to 8. Uh, there's an issue already on GitHub about this on the plugin, uh, issue 122 if you're interested. Click finish. Here we go. Uh, and now the next few steps are pretty simple. I'm going to create a new directory called libs. I'm also going to create a new directory under assets called www. And now I'm going to copy in uh, the necessary files. If I go to finder, should have phone here I have uh, the latest phone gap downloaded I'm going to copy this jar into a libs directory copy this JS file and copy this XML folder into the resources directory right here there you go now that all that's copied uh, we're actually going to be editing the Java file now First off, change this activity to droid gap. And you guys can see we're not going to need this import anymore. Uh, but we're going to have to import something else. Org dot Apache dot Cordova. There it is. Dot star. Uh, and then we also have to tell it where to look. So we're going to replace set content view with super.load URL. If you're, I'm going through this very quickly, I know, but you guys can go to the, the guide and follow the steps. Paste that, save that. Uh, next step is to add these permissions to your Android manifest file. Uh, this is just all the permissions that we have right now that we use. Uh, you don't need to use all of these. You really shouldn't include all of these. Um, so open your Android manifest file in the text editor and under min SDK, and you could change your min SDK if you have it set to something higher. You're going to want to set it to 8. Uh, paste it there. Just click Save. Uh, like I said, you don't want to include all of these, but f for the sake of this uh, screencast, just go ahead and do that. And then we also got to add uh, a little bit to the activity tag here. 
Um, I'm actually going to remove the screen size option as it's been giving me errors. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Uh, and now to test it, I believe, yeah, now to test it I can just go and whip up a quick hello world to see if this is going to launch on my device. Uh, so I'm going to add a new file. index.html open with text editor Cordova 181 there we go and now I should be able to go ahead and click run as Android application I'm actually running this on my device and I'm using Droid at screen to show you. So there you go, there's the Hello World running on my device. Perfect. Now let's actually add uh, the Facebook plugin in here. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to edit our plugins.xml folder. Let's go to XML. Open with text editor. Uh, we're going to add a new permission down here at the bottom. Uh, if you actually just go to the README on the repo, on Dave Johnson's repo, uh, you'll see that it's right here. I've already got it highlighted. Copy that. Move in here, paste the, the new plugin uh, to do plugin mapping, and we're done with that. Save it and close that file. Uh, we're also done with the manifest. I'm going to close that, and we're done with that file. Moving on to our next steps. So we've already um, gone ahead and added that. Now we're going to be including the Facebook Android SDK. All right, so on the, on the repository that you just cloned off of Dave Johnson Drupal, you're going to want to run this command. Get submodule update dash dash init. So I've, I've already run it, I've already, so it won't do anything for me, but you guys should run that on the repository that you downloaded off of Dave, Dave's repo. And it, this is actually going to be downloading the Android SDK and the iOS SDK uh, into the project, or well, into this repository, and then we have to include it into our project. So going back to Eclipse, now we have to include these files. So if I go to Finder, So here I'm in the directory, uh, and if I go to lib, here's Facebook Android SDK. And what I actually want to include is this source folder uh, and this res folder. So I'm going to go ahead and copy both of those and paste them to the root of my project here in Eclipse. It's going to ask if I want to do any overwrites. I'm going to say no for both. So there you go, it's added com.facebook.android and it included a few more files in my res. Uh, moving on, now we want to include uh, the files that are in this native Android folder, another source. So we're going to go ahead and copy that source folder, paste it here, and say no to overwriting again. And that's going to include the necessary files for the plugin. Uh, and the last step is, is copying a few files into your www directory. Uh, going back to Finder. So what those files are is under lib, we have the Facebook JavaScript SDK. We're going to copy this to our www directory. We have uh, a CDV plugin uh, JS file here. We're going to copy this guy into the www directory. And also, uh, for this example, I'm going to use the Hackbook example that's supplied under Examples. So go to Hackbook, select all these files, paste them, and then we are going to overwrite index.html. There we go. Now I've included those, those files. Um, now you guys can see there's still an error here, so I actually have to go here and I have to add a new import. Uh, now this is where I told you to remember your package name. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add it above this public class. Import. And if you forgot your package name, it's actually listed right here. com.facebook.com. 
dot phone gap dot star so everything that's included with that and that should take away the error and the last thing we have to do is we have to go into index.html so open that with a text editor and you're going to want to make sure your script tags are all right so you guys can see Facebook JavaScript SDK CDB plugin it's already in there um, it's referencing the right JavaScript file uh, and moving down we have to add our app ID so you guys can actually see that there's a document add event listener uh, for device ready uh, and in here there's an fb.init and here's where the app ID is going to go and I should well, it looks like I don't have it open but You guys can see developers.facebook.com. Go check out apps. And if you haven't already created an app, you should on this. And then copy your app ID. Go back to Eclipse. Paste this in here. Click Save. Now let's give it a shot. And hopefully it will work out. We'll see in a second. Here we go, and it's working. And I can click log in. It should take me to the native Android app here. Click OK. Now I can do things like publish to your wall. And that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, you can uh, post them on GitHub if you have issues, or you could uh, tweet me uh, at Steve S. Gill on Twitter. All right, thank you.